So this video comes to you from the surgical team of me, Dr. Kanere, my surgical colleagues, Dr. Pense and Dr. Saurabh Nanda. We would be talking about the dissection of aorta and a newer method of managing it. Again, based out of Chirayu Medical College Hospital, Bairagad and Chirayu Hospital, Malipura. Patients in India get older is getting far more common with all this ambulance prevalence, retrieval of these patients who would have otherwise died has become very common. Also, it is very important to establish that not all deep chest pains and severe pains radiating to back are heart attacks. They could be what is called dissection of aorta. Most of the medical fraternity is aware, widely aware of this disease. However, if there is a lay person who's not trained in medicine looking at uh, this video, and imagine one of the old cardboard notebooks and the cover got wet and you could separate the layers of the cardboard notebook. This is exactly what happens in the section of the aorta because of pre-existing con congenital conditions, maybe surgical, maybe hypertensive. It's very rarely traumatic leading to extraposition of blood between the layers and causing a dissection. Well, recently we came across a patient, a 73 year old man who had chronic dissection. These dissections are then classified uh, according to a famous university classification, Stanford, whether it's type A or type B. Essentially, whether it involves the ascending aorta in the chest or it does not involve the ascending aorta. This gentleman had a chronic type B dissection, but to his luck, this dissection would normally have affected the blood supply to the gut or the kidneys, i.e. the visceral and the renal vessels. Uh, fortunately for this man, it did not do so and the dissection did not also extend onto the arch and get converted to type A, which could be emergent and life-threatening. days these dissections were managed surgically and I have here with me my colleague Dr. Painsey is going to talk to you about the surgical management of these diseases. Treatment or upchar ke uplabdh tarike jo dissection ke liye hai wo mainly surgical options hai ya endovascular treatment options hai. Surgery in kismu ke cases mein bhoati jatil or complex hoti hai or debilitating hoti hai patient ko kai dino tak aspatal mein rehna padta hai usko bleeding ka उसके दूसरे organs को kidney है, gut है, brain है, उसको affect होने के chances अत्याधिक रहते हैं। इन किस्म के cases में यदि endovascular options उपलब्ध हो, तो वो surgical options से हमेशा बेहतर होते हैं। इसी वजह से क्योंकि उसमें bleeding का option कम होता है, bleeding के risk कम होते हैं, और दूसरे organs को damage होने का, insult होने का chances भी less होता है। दो endoscopic treatment are costly, but in a way they are cost effective than the surgical treatment options. The newer technologies of the diseases of aorta which my seniors were talking about is basically endovascular techniques. The endovascular techniques which is known as endovascular repair of aorta which may be thoracic or abdominal. What we had performed recently was thoracic endovascular aorta repair, TEVA, to reduce all the complications which were discussed initially, this technique has been developed and uh, taking advantage of the cath labs with, which our hospital has, we were able to repair the disease of the aorta from inside out. We had deployed a stent which the damaged wall of the blood vessels got sealed and the patient got relieved of the symptoms almost immediately. Had it been a surgical option, it would have taken at least seven days to repair to, for the symptoms to come down. But now the, uh, the patient got relieved of, of the symptoms immediately and got discharged in two days. He had an incision on his body at this approximately five centimeter and, and it was uh, like a miracle to him. Having seen the video which precedes this conversation, all of you, I'm sure, would agree that the deployments seem very easy. 
Nikhil would agree with me that 15 years ago when we started, we ha- used to have terrible times. Then about four or five years ago, Dr. Nanda sitting to the left, trained in aortic surgery, joined the team. Those were the days when we did something as crazy as an elephant trunk and we would spend at least two to three hours after that wondering whether the patient was going to bleed or not, whether he was going to make urine or not, whether his belly was going to get distended or not. And somewhere in the middle of the night, we would get signals that the patient has indeed woken up. Gone are those days with this newer technique. It's complex. It's not suited for all. It could be hybrid. We have a similar case. Unfortunately, due to financial constraints, we couldn't tackle him. But a hybrid procedure would be a debranching and then a Tevar combined. I'm sure, Nikhil, you would have something to say about the times we spent earlier before Saurabh joined us struggling with surgery. Uh, आप सर्जरी करके निकलते थे उसके ब्लीडिंग का वेट करते थे या ब्लीडिंग रुकने का इंतजार करते थे जागने का इंतजार करते थे पेशाब बराबर बन रहा है कि नहीं उसके लिए इंतजार करते थे और हॉस्पिटल और मरीजों मरीज के रिश्तेदारों के लिए भी बहुत कठिन समय था ना सिर्फ हम सर्जेंस के लिए और एनेस्थीशियोलॉजिस्ट के लिए क्योंकि लंबा समय व्यतीत करना पड़ता था मरीज के साथ और फिर उसको अस्पताल में लंबे समय तक वेंटिलेशन आईसीयू दवाइयां ब्लड बहुत ही मुश्किल परिस्थितियां थी और नई तकनीक आने से शॉर्ट एंड हॉस्पिटल स्टे है ब्लीडिंग का बहुत कम रिस्क हो गया है एंड इट इज इवॉल्विंग दो इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स नीड्स प्रॉपर इवेल्युएशन एंड अंडर गुड ट्रेन हैंड्स एंड देन यू नो व्हेनेवर यू हैव फ्रेश यंग ब्लड properly trained and maybe your way of looking at things which i tended to do in a fossilized fashion 30 year old training has been changed by the joining of dr nanda who actually underwent a two year aortic fellowship and i am sure he has a lot to add to this management of this very complex disease and indeed he was the lead actual lead performer of this tevar so uh, sora beni concluding remarks sir it was although I had, although I had performed such certain procedures initially, but it was a very, it was a new uh, slate altogether in Madhya Pradesh. Nobody had performed this kind of procedure in in our state, especially by a surgical group. It was very fortunate that we got this case, and uh, it was very fortunate for the patient per se because his uh, disease profile was that he was suited for Tevar. and uh, we could be we were also very fortunate that we we were able to get through and without much of it, without any complications put together so if with these kind of cases that we are able to get in future uh, maybe this branch will be flourished in our and our state and our because of our uh, expertise expertise maybe, maybe,